We've seen in previous videos that organisms can reproduce in two different ways. Either through sexual reproduction, which involves the fusion of two gametes, like a sperm and an egg, and so leads to genetically different offspring, or asexual reproduction, which uses mitosis to form an identical clone of the parent organism. In this video, though, we're going to focus on the advantages and disadvantages of each of these types. Let's start with asexual reproduction. The two main benefits are that only one parent is needed, and the process is very quick. This allows a single organism to quickly colonize an entire new area. For example, if you had a piece of food, and a single bacteria or fungi landed on it, it could reproduce into two, then four, then eight, and so on, until it forms a whole colony. And if the conditions are right, this can happen within just a couple of days. The same process can happen with some plants. For example, if a single seed gets blown into a new habitat, then once it's grown, it might be able to reproduce asexually to produce loads of clones that colonize the whole area. Now, the downside of asexual reproduction is that because all the offspring are clones, there isn't any genetic variation. This means that if a new disease comes along and one of the offspring is susceptible to it, then chances are that all of them will be susceptible. And so it could wipe out the whole population. It also means that the organisms will have less chance of adapting to new conditions, like changes in the climate or the introduction of a new competitor. In contrast, the main benefit of sexual reproduction is that it leads to loads of genetic variation within the population. In the short term, this means that the population is less likely to get wiped out by a single event like a new disease, because some individuals will be more resistant to it than others. In the longer term, it means that the population can adapt to changing conditions, because it allows for evolution to take place. And remember, evolution is just the process by which species change over time, because the most favorable traits are most likely to be passed on each generation. The main disadvantage of sexual reproduction, though, is that it takes a lot more time and energy than asexual reproduction does. For example, animals have to first of all find their potential mates, which can be time-consuming, and then they also need to impress their mate. This is the reason why some birds have such colourful feathers. It's just because they're useful for impressing their mates, even though they don't help the bird survive at all. Anyway, that's everything for this video. So if you found it useful, then please do give us a like and subscribe, and we'll see you again soon.